all right welcome to the cucumber js series in this series we will be looking at the cucumber js completely so i call it as mastering cucumber js novice to ninja and a big thanks because the previous playwright with cucumber has received a good response so in order to continue with that I have come up with the Cucumber with JavaScript, I mean JavaScript version of it. So the prereq, please install Node.js version. I will leave the links in the description. Install it according to your system, followed by install the VS code as well. from here have these two installed and then we can begin with it so as a welcome note we are going to discuss complete cucumber js purely with the typescript combination so as i said earlier have the prereq ready like install your node js and uh, typescript from there we will install the required things now let's start with the write the first feature file and before that if i introduce the session that we are going to cover and it is not listed to these 20 what are all the feedback we receive from the users and we will be adding whatever the challenges they are facing we will add that as well okay this is not limited to only 20 so we'll see how to write a first feature file. We'll see package.json, cucumber.json, ts config file in depth. We'll write some step definitions. We'll run some cucumber test. We'll see what are all the Gherkin keywords we have. We'll see data tables, scenario outlines, what is a background keyword, hooks in, in and out. And uh, more importantly, this 12th one is going to be very important for us where uh, we, we do some custom world objects. I will show you what is a world object that Cucumber.js provides and how do we do the context sharing in Cucumber.js and uh, how we can filter out the feature files, how we can do parallel testing and all, we will also see how to run fail test also. Rerun fail test, rerun fail tests, fail tests and we'll see a basic integration with the playwright right and we'll see the reporting different reportings maybe cucumber html reporter alu reporter right whatever we have we can cover it up we'll see how to debug the code and we'll see what are all the cucumber js options we have and uh, how we can run cucumber test programmatically generally we do from cli cut but can we do do it from the programmatically yes we can do We'll also see what is con, uh, Cucumber config file profile concept. And finally, topics on demand by users. Okay. So I hope you will going to like this uh, series. Okay. So let's get begin with. So now in order to start with, I have already created a folder. Okay. With the name Cucumber JSBDD. Just right click, open with the visual studio code or open the visual studio code or you can say file open folder either way is fine okay so now we have to create a first packet.json for that we are going to say npm init so now what is the package name let's give the same name copy paste version let it be description Cucumber JS BDD Mastering Entry pine that's fine. Test command as of now, no. Git repository, no. Keywords, you can say Cucumber JS TS BDD anything. Author Bashir Muhammad License that's fine. Yes, I want to create it. Okay, you could see the packet.json got created. 
okay so now it's time for us to add the dependencies into it okay the first dependency we are gonna add is npm i typescript hyphen d okay so what it will do it will install the typescript and add it to the dev dependencies now you could see with this command the node modules has already been created and the relevant package get added okay if you take a look at your package.json you could see it has got it it has added as a dependency over here with the 5.3.3 version anyway whenever you install directly it will install the latest only so now apart from this we need npm install cucumber slash cucumber hyphen d i hope the spelling is correct cucumber slash cucumber hyphen d hit enter Okay, we could see Kukumbar got added. One more thing we have to add nodes npm install ts hyphen node hyphen d to run the TypeScript file. We need this ts node. So let's install this. Right, so this should be enough to begin with our Kukumbar with some basic feature files and all okay so one more thing i hope everyone aware of this typescript is already if you not know i will leave the some uh, description uh, i could say uh, link where you can go through the typescript or you can google it or you can go through the many videos available on the youtube on the typescript if you are looking for only specifically the javascript you can found it in this channel complete javascript series okay so yeah let's continue so now it is done it's time for us to create the folder structure okay so now here i'm going to create on this particular folder i'm going to create right click one minute uh, new folder let's say src here let's say test here let's say futures inside of it not the file we have to create specs what else is there i think should be good we can create some config folder i think should be good that should be fine here we can create a folder with the name reports in future yeah the folder structure is up to you how you want to keep it okay and what else we can keep it src config is done you can pull this config out also that should be fine let's keep this config out of the uh, src so src test features we are good what else we have uh, if you have any core libs library related in future if needed i think that should be fine okay so we are done after this we have to create one more thing npx tsc init okay we have to create ts config file okay so for that i have run the command npx tsc init so it is going to create the ts config file mm. Anything is wrong, could not resolve the path in it. Uh, I think I'm making some mistake. Let it be. First, let us try to create the cucumber first. So let me try one more time. NPX. node tsc in it no i think it's npx only
some error let's try googling it that's okay if we make some mistakes how to create ds config file in node.js from command line okay dsc hyphen hyphen in it so that is a mistake we are making okay we could see ds config dot created so which is good so what is the mistake we made hyphen hyphen we have forgot okay it's okay to make the mistake and learn from it and after that we are going to create one more file it is called as cucumber dot json okay so we'll see what comes under cucumber json ts just uh, ts config dot json powered by packet dot json in packet dot json we have already seen the three dependencies cucumber ts node and typescript and we will see what comes under cucumber json and what comes under ts node ts config dot json so good thing is we have all the options listed already in the ts config file so we don't need to add anything new extra apart from that some exclude and include but everything is already present over here we just need to uncomment add the relevant one okay so now if you take a look at this one we are going to target es 2016 and we are going to write under the module common js that should be fine okay so i think we are all good to write the first feature file yeah that's all for this particular video see you in the next lecture